Yo, what's up, guys? It's the um, the realist uh, rant man. Um... Oh, there you go. Uh, the realist uh, rant man uh, YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be talking about why I um why I hate um politicians or politics. Now, I did a video on why I hate Hollywood. I mean, it hasn't had a lot of views. Yeah, it hasn't, um, it hasn't had a lot of views, realistically. Like, it hasn't. But at the same time, like, I don't know what it is, but I just hate this system. You know, I hate politics. I think it's a massive scam. Like, I hate it when, um, I hate it when people, because I hate it when, um, uh, people, like, always, like, tell you to vote and, uh, you know that you're you're a failure. You're stupid. You need to vote. You need to, you know, you need to vote in Donald Trump. You need to vote Joe Biden. You need to vote Hillary Clinton. You need to vote Donald uh, Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer and you have so many of these people that um I want to say I'm fucking there we go just I'm just gonna do like this. You have so many people that like are so a such um a such sheep. You know what I mean? They think that like they're so smart because they're like voting for someone. When reality is, it ain't making a fucking difference. You know, like here in the UK, that like, everyone's voting for Labour over Tory, and like, don't get me wrong, the Tories are an absolute disgrace. But to think that Labour are going to solve, <laughs> to think that Labour are going to sort out our immigration problem, to think that. Labour are going to completely sort out the um, the failing healthcare system, which is basically the NHS if you're American, um, given the fact that that's the majority of my viewer base. Um, <sighs> and they think that these sheep or these average people think that like voting for another party is going to solve all the country's problems. It's going to lower the rates of uh, depression. It's going to improve or lower the rates of inflation. It's going to help the environmental issues that we face. It's, it's going to sort all these problems out. And reality is, um, as you know, at the end of the day, it isn't going to make a difference. You know, there's that uh, old saying, there's that old saying, different government, same old lies, you know, and everyone thinks that like the government controls and like owns everything, when reality is it isn't the government, the government doesn't control things, the government are just put there to make you think that you have a choice, you don't, you know, the big corporations, the billionaires, you know, the, I, I personally still think the Illuminati exists, by the way, I definitely think it does, and I think that's what controls everything, you know, if you honestly think that politicians make the decisions, they don't. They're puppets. They're literally little puppets on strings, mate. There are higher echelons than they are controlling and making the decisions and the politicians are below them, which are basically there to basically make us think that we have a choice. The reality is we don't. We just don't. You know, if, if voting was so useful, they wouldn't let you do it. If protesting was so useful, they wouldn't let you do it. Simple as. You know, the moment you start to, the moment you stop just hating on a Tory and Labour all the time, and you start hating on the whole system, or you start calling out things, you know, that aren't meant to be mentioned, like, um, I know people like David Icke or Alex Jones, you, they will instantly get cancelled because it doesn't benefit them. The whole system isn't designed to benefit you. It's designed to benefit the richest elites. You know, there's a big club and you aren't part of it. You know, George Carlin has said these quotes multiple times. You know what I mean? And people are still so bloody sheepish that they still think that voting is going to make a difference. It ain't. It just isn't. You know what I mean? The whole system, we're fucked. The moment you're born, you are already put into a fucked up corrupt system there is nothing you can do to change it the only thing is that these somehow these rich elites just 
wipe out, wipe themselves out. But other than that, you're screwed. And you could say live like the Amish. But you, the, we would use our all natural resources. You know what I mean? It's, it's a big fucking problem at the moment. You know, it really is. And the thing is, most people won't do that. But I couldn't imagine a day without my phone. Because since, since I was a child, you know, as well as other people, I'm sure a lot of um, a lot of um, a lot of other anti nihilist YouTube channels who I've subscribed to would agree with this. Yeah, we've all been brought up to rely on this system just to survive. You know what I mean? Now, I don't have a job right now, right? I don't. But even then, I I don't exactly have enough money to go on holiday or to go on dates or to even afford a car. You know. And even if I do go out and get a job and get those things, I'm still not truly free. And I still won't be able to afford a house anyway. Because unfortunately, many big companies like BlackRock and many other companies have basically screwed up the housing market. You know what I mean? But obviously, you mentioned that to um, the average person. They will just scratch their heads or call you a conspiracy theorist or say you need to take your medication and all this bollocks, because they can't handle the truth. Most people can't handle the truth. The moment you tell people about how society truly is, about who runs it, how the society is meant to function, and how it's meant to serve the few psychopaths at the top, which we basically have no control over. You know, as I've said, voting is, is if voting was useful, they wouldn't let you do it. Simple as. It's just a distraction to be put there, so average dumbasses think that it, they're going to make a difference if they suddenly just vote for Labour over Tory. In reality, is it going to change? The same way so many people think that Donald Trump's this amazing president. Reality is he's probably going to make very little difference. Do you know what I mean? They're all the same. They're all the same. You know, they all are. In fact, they're not even the ones who make the decisions in the first place. You know, they're just put there. They're, they're just the ones that go along with it. They're not the ones creating these narratives that have been going on in the last few years, or the last few decades in history. <laughs> you know what I mean? It isn't going to make a difference. You know, and then you've got all the things, and the thing is as well, like the, the fact that, and again, kind of to do with the reason why I'm an anti nihilist why would I bring a kid into this world where I know, where I know my kid's going to find it hard to buy a house to get a job where where my kid's going to be respected in the workforce and not just have a boss yell at him all the time, tell him, you don't work hard enough and all that and have to deal with a bunch of positive Steves. You know what I mean? Why would I bring a son in, or a daughter? Why would I bring a kid into this world where I know they could, they are more likely now to get sexually assaulted, murdered, shot, beaten up, verbally assaulted as well, stolen from you know what i mean the list goes on and like with all these um chemicals in the water you know like with the frogs turning gay and stuff that's been proven to be correct like why why would i want my kid drinking plastic water like do you know what i mean why would i want my kid eating junk food why would i want my kid you know what i mean why, why would i want my kid being in a world that has that they're literally to the point where the air is not even safe to breathe in. But oh no, because you're alive, suddenly it means it's safe. Bro, look at the rates of cancer. They're shot up. Look at the amount of cancer cases there are when people live near fucking power plants and stuff. It's awful. You know, and all these politicians virtue signaling about climate change. Telling us that if we, you know what I mean, that we have to eat beyond me and that we have to fucking get electric cars. First of all, beyond me, it probably is better for the environment. Meat is not good for the environment. It just isn't. It uses up too much land and water, right? But at the same time, beyond me uses tons of ingredients. It's awful for you. You know what I mean? You could literally, if you want to be vegan, vegetarian, I can understand it because it is more ethical. You know, people make the argument you kill more animals, but that depends on where you order from you. If you're if you're buying like non organic, um, I don't know like I don't know lettuce or tomatoes, of course it's going to kill more animals. If you grow it yourself or you go to a local farmers market, it, it should be fine, right? But um, that aside, yeah, like 
with the electric cars argument, you could literally run cars on hydrogen. Do you know what I mean? Eventually they will. They're running, starting to run cars on hydrogen now. And guess what? In the trials that has been done, in the test runs, it has worked. You know, I'm sure in the next few years as the technology improves, I'm hoping that they overtake electric cars because we'll pretty much have the, the vehicle pollution issue sorted. You know what I mean by then? And like with nuclear energy being demonised, you know, for decades, when reality is the reason why is because fossil fuel companies have been paying, have literally been paying, um, have been paying, have been getting paid by the government to basically make and pay for newspaper articles to basically make out that nuclear energy is really bad and that if we use the nuclear energy, it will do more harm. The reality is the, the, the danger of what nuclear energy proposes is way a way lower significant percentage to what oil and gas does. I mean, for example, um, in the Pacific coast, just in the last 100 years alone, um, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of um, kelp forests have been lost because of the ocean leak, of the oil leaks that have been going into the Californian coast all the way up through into Siberia. And that's been primarily caused by um, oil leaks. And what that's reason why um, the kelp has been disappearing is because there's been sea urchins, because the sea otters are basically being, being killed off from the oil and the pollution in the seas. And basically what's happened is the sea, because the sea otters eat the sea urchins and the sea urchins aren't being eaten, they're eating the kelp. Do you know what I mean? And then they cause it, and because there's no CO2 being uh, absorbed as much, there's more algae blooms and then it pollutes the air. It's a big fucking problem. But yet the politicians don't focus on that. They just want you all to drive electric cars. And the thing is electric cars get power to power plants. So is that, how is it environmental friendly then? Doesn't make any sense. But then again, that's how these, that's how the government are. They're programmed to, to basically suck off the, 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 the masters above them. You know, they're not the masters. They're the puppets of the masters, which we're the puppets of the puppets of the masters, if you get what I mean. That is basically how it is. That's how the whole entire system, and this video could get deleted. I mean, it probably won't, to be fair, because I probably won't take me seriously, because who does, to be fair. But... Yeah, that's the reason why I hate politics. The whole system is awful and all the bad things that are going in the world, all the pollutants in our air, you know, the way the system is, the rate of inflation and the fact that it's getting harder to live now. Bills are going up, that these rich elites keep getting richer and richer and richer and richer. And yet so many people worship the people like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. It makes me sick. Like, they don't care about you. They don't care. If they cared, they would have done something about all this bullshit by now. But they haven't, have they? But yeah, people were sheep. People will continue listening to what the mainstream media, the government, all these rich celebrities and billionaires say. And it won't change anytime soon because people have got their heads so far up they ask, they can't even they can't even see the truth and admit to it, let alone actually try and do something about it. And the thing is, people you could just say there are probably people in the comments right now saying, Why aren't you doing something about it? If if you're really if you were really so upset about it, why don't you do something about it? I'm like, bro. I'm literally some 20 year old fucking loser. What the fuck can I do? Nothing. I'm powerless. Now as a collective, sure, but most people aren't gonna listen to me, are they? They're gonna call me a nut job or a conspiracy theorist or tell me to get therapy. So it isn't gonna fucking work, is it? You know? But anyway, yeah, that was pretty mad. Um, anyway, if you liked, um, please leave a like. If you're wondering where I am, by the way, yes, I'm back in my room because my stupid kind of a sister put some fucking clothes on and unfortunately I had to deal, I would have had to deal with the washing machine. So I had to record in here. But anyway, um, feel free to leave any video topics in the uh, comments below. Um, if you like this video, please leave it a like. Um, if you want to follow for more, please subscribe. And um, yeah, um, have a good day, night. I don't know, Buenos Dias, Buenos Noches, it basically means good morning, good night in Spanish. Anyway, um, yeah, have a good day.